This is actually the end of my hive inspection, but I'm putting it at the beginning of the video because I want to ask you to smash up that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like the content, I'll see what we have going on. Uh, today, I, I think I have a problem with a queen in one hive, and I think both hives are doing great otherwise. I removed the queen excluders. I'll explain why. And I have a question on why bees are hanging out on the side of my hive on the outside. So anybody can give any feedback, I'd appreciate that. Enjoy the video. All right, so I'm going to come down to do a hive inspection today. It's a little bit earlier in the day than I normally do it. It's only around 10 a.m. Um, I see a lot of activity. When I came down here first, I wasn't going to do a hive inspection today, but the whole side of this hive was covered. Um, it's not really bearding. Half the bees are gone now. I think they call it washboarding. It's not happening on the giant's hive so much. Only the cowboy's hive. Honestly, that whole side was covered when I was just down here about 20 minutes ago. Maybe it's just something that happens in the morning. And they said it could happen from either overcrowding, they're preparing to swarm, or uh, the queen's out on a mating run. So I know that they're not on a mating run. They have plenty of room in this hive because they're not up into the flow hive yet. So what I'm going to do today is remove that queen excluder, which is that nice white band right there. I think they're not coming up there. And I brought some sugar water down in that little pink container there. I'm going to spray the flow hives with that, see if that helps. So let's see what we got. So there's a lot of bees on the queen excluder on top too, but there's a decent amount. This is my uh, second hive box. And if you look down in there, there's bees everywhere. A lot of uh, white comb, which indicates honey. I'm probably not going to open this up. This this is their hive anyway. This is what I'm going to use to... So they'll be feeding off of this. I'm going to do a quick inspection on the bottom. Make sure I got brood and... Uh, larvae down there see if the queen's still doing her job i'm sure she is they look pretty healthy i uh i read i mean there's just as many fans for the queen excluder as people who are against it i'm gonna go without it i think because the theory is if you have a a honey layer which is a second hive that the queen will not penetrate that so the queen won't come up into this upper hive if she does then so be it, then I have a mess on my hands, but I think I'd rather let the bees have free flow up to the top than uh, restrict them. You know, I don't want them to swarm. I don't want them to think they don't have enough room and I want to kind of promote uh, movement upwards so they can do what they got to do. You know, let's look at the bottom box. This is the giant's hive. That's how many bees we're looking at on top of the queen excluder. Which I think is good. But I'm still going to eliminate it. There's someone from the cowboy's hive. When I looked in the cowboy's hive, a lot of activity on the second level. So I knew there'd be a lot on the bottom level. I took it off and it was just crazy. Like the, the frames were all stuck together. I picked one of the center frames out. Just bees everywhere, and there was brood and larvae, so I didn't even want to chance hurting the queen. I put it back in, cleaned it up, scraped off a little bit of extra comb that was growing in where it wasn't supposed to be, and took the queen excluder out, put them back together, sprayed the sugar water on there, on the flow frames like I wanted to, and I'm going to do the same thing here. So uh, I can already see... I just smoked them a little bit. Just like the last hive, I can see a lot of uh, honey, honeycomb in here. This is stuck down. I don't know if you can, but it's all the way out to the end here. It's It's just... They're doing a good job. I know it's all stuck together. I'm not going to be able to get it out. They're, they're kind of building sideways. 
It's very light colored. I can see the honey and I can see bees everywhere, everywhere. So I'm gonna pull the bottom off. I'm gonna do the same thing. Check for eggs and put it back together. Spray those frames, call today. So I wasn't gonna take a picture inside here, but I wanted to show you guys. There's a queen cell and it's still closed. So there's a queen in there. I wonder if they're requeening this cell. This is the first frame I brought out. It's the only one I'm gonna bring out. I have brood. Don't really see eggs or larvae. So I'm wondering if they're requeening right now. I have to keep an eye on it, but I'm gonna put it back in there. I hope I don't crush it because it looks like it's about ready to pop. So we'll see what's going on. Be really careful with that. So you can see how many bees I got. I don't understand why they would be requeening unless, I mean, this hive has been a little weak from the beginning, but I've had 10 queen cells in here last time I inspected and they were all empty. So maybe they're trying to tell the queen something, I don't know. But all right, they're getting a little irritated. So I'm gonna sign out. All right, everything's back together. I, I threw excess comb that they were building like in between the frames or on top, just on the ground out front here so they can clean it up. Hope it doesn't attract ants. There didn't seem to be an ant problem today. I only have one. Still have the cinnamon on the top of the cowboy's hive. The giants seem to be holding their own. Uh, and whatever bees were on the outside of that hive are now gone. I'm gonna leave the queen excluders there in case they have any honey on there they wanna clean off. And I'll give it a week and see what's going on. I think, I really think the giant's hive is trying to requeen. I didn't see a lot of larvae or eggs there, but I saw a lot of brood. So maybe something happened to her. Um, still a lot of bees in there though, so I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. That's it for today. Don't forget to uh, smash up that like button. Give me a subscribe to the channel. We're almost where we need to be, but not quite. Thanks for watching.